Let's talk about the dark side of street photography and the five things you fear the most. Many of us street photographers are afraid of street photography for many reasons. Some of us are afraid of having our gear stolen or damaged. Some are afraid of being beaten by big strangers or gangs of thugs, and many more. Some people are afraid of it. Depends on the imagination of each person. No matter what fear each of us faces, there are ways to control or curb that fear. I say control or restraint because, in my opinion, fear never goes away. See our great tips to help us focus more on doing what we love most. Photographing the events of life. The fears we are going to talk about are what I fear or have been told by other street photographers. I could have made the list longer, but I think it's better to stick to the most common. I don't think one fear is more important than another, so keep in mind that the order in which they are presented is completely random. Number one fear of being beaten. Everyone has felt this once. When you're new, they often look sideways and feel awkward when looking to take a photo. I try to use common sense as much as possible, so I don't find myself in situations like this very often, but the urge to search for images can throw me into a mess. Is this fear justified? Yes. Number two, fear of being robbed. While many of us use expensive equipment for street photography, some do not. I know that having expensive equipment doesn't make you a better photographer, but the more street photography you do, the more you want to invest. At least that's how I see it. For example, when I started taking pictures in the city, I used an iPhone, but then I switched to a Sony S7. So now when I walk around town with my Sony and my 35 mm lens, I'm walking around with $2,000 worth of camera equipment. That's a good amount for me. So when you're out on the street and in a seedy neighborhood, that fear creeps in. What if I get robbed? Is this fear justified? Yes. Number three, fear of being yelled at. No one likes being the center of attention, especially when everyone is staring at you because you're being yelled at by the person who took the overreacting photo. Is, when you showed them the photo, you asked if you wanted them to email it to you. If you have several business cards, hand them over and ask them to contact you about your photos. They won't usually contact you, but unless you have other issues, this step usually puts you at ease. All right, delete the photo and threaten to call the police if they want to keep the photo and sue them for verbal abuse. The latter depends on the laws of the country in which you are shooting. So check your statements before threatening to call the police. Is this fear justified? Yes. Number four, equipment may be damaged. This goes hand in hand with the robbery fear. Again, it's your gear that you're afraid to lose by brute force this time. Someone might try to grab the camera from your hand or break it with a fist. If you don't react quickly, your camera may fly through the air toward a wall or a busy road. When the person doing this on your camera decides you're next, the fear of getting hit comes up. Use common sense and stay away from complicated or dangerous situations. Another option is to learn martial arts and become the next John Wick. Is this fear justified? Yes. Number five, I'm afraid to take pictures of strangers. This is the most common fear that every street photographer has to face, and it is mainly the beginning of the street hunting experience. Because I feel it's something I've felt over and over again, and although this fear doesn't go away, I've found that the more I take pictures on the street and talk to strangers, the easier it becomes to control. In fact, I noticed that most of the people who asked me to take a picture of her agreed without hesitation. I think only a few were rejected, and the reason was that I didn't approach them the way they should have been. I also noticed that if I shoot someone without permission, 99% of the time they say nothing. They see me, but I don't. So if you act like nothing happened, leave it alone. Is this fear justified? Yes. I had a blast taking photos of my city. Let's see some of my results. Thank you for watching part one of this video. Like and subscribe for part two on overcoming these fears.